Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and this is just a very brief setup video on this new printer that I got. It is an OfficeJet Pro 9015E, and I've seen a couple other videos online where you are forced to have to set up a HP account, and uh, this they give you instant ink or free six-month six month trial of instant ink. I don't want to go through any of that stuff. So what I want to try to do is one, set it up without having to do that. And I'm also going to turn off the firmware updates so I don't have Big Brother basically looking at me. So we're going to set this up English after you plug it in. Confirm. I'm over here in the United States. I'm not even going to hook this up to the Wi-Fi until I've gotten this set up. It's probably going to tell me that I have to go and install the printer cartridges, which it did come with. Yep, it's asking me to go and install the printer cartridges, which they give you right here. So open up this access door, and we'll go ahead and put those in. All they basically do is they slide in, and then you just push in to basically seat them, and then they should not pop back out. So let's go ahead and close it. This may take a second. Okay. And I've already loaded the paper. Yeah, we're gonna land the print heads. We'll let it do that. Sounds like it's getting the air out of the lines for the ink cartridges, but we'll let it do its thing. Well, that took a couple seconds here to actually print it out, so now I just put it on the scanner tray here and it's scanning that alignment page. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. All right, so now it says it's fully calibrated. And now this is where you kind of get stuck because I don't want to install the HP software. I just want to install the driver. So I'm going to go to the question. I'm going to cancel. Yeah, without HP software, I want to, I don't care about the advanced features or the ink or anything like that. So we're going to continue. So I take it back, I have to go back to cancel, and then I'm going to cancel. Now the firmware, I'm not going to set up the automatic updates here. So I'm going to notify, instead I do not want the auto update. Thank you for choosing HP. And it looks like... We're good to go. All right, after updating the time, so now we're gonna go to preferences. And now what we're gonna do is hit the gear. I'm gonna go to preferences. See, it's pretty set up. Store anonymous usage information. Yeah, let's shut that off. Don't need that. Well guys, I'm gonna end the video here. This is actually a few weeks after I had purchased the printer and also in the last segment. What wound up happening was I was actually able to fix the old printer and it was a bad logic board and, well, decided to keep it. Uh, this is now a 4x6 label printer that I have that dedicated to and decided to keep the newer HP. And I have not had any problems installing the drivers on any of my Windows or Mac based uh, systems here. And I do not have that HP Plus feature so I don't have to worry about ink or anything like that. Uh, the ink cartridges are a tad bit more expensive for this newer version, but I figured that I'm probably on borrowed time with this older printer here. But hey, for as long as it works, it'll work. And for the cost I pay for this, hopefully it should give us at least another eight to 10 years worth. I don't know if that's really accurate or not, but it's worth, I think, you know, just having in the office here. But any questions on this particular printer just let me know and thanks again guys for watching